Hello world, Craigslist is being exploited as part of a new campaign by cybercriminals to spread their malware. Craigslist, that's a name I imagine you haven't heard in a while. I realize a good chunk of my audience is probably too young to know what Craigslist even is. Hell, 40% of you guys aren't old enough to have lived through the genesis of memes, as per a recent Instagram poll. Follow me by the way, I'm at Jonty. Craigslist is like Facebook Marketplace. People put their trash up for sale and you email or call them directly. You can't make payments through the site like you can with eBay. Craigslist focuses on being very local. Each city or area has its own subdomain and set of categories. It was founded in 1995, and whilst at one point it may have been the go-to website to rid your basement of unwanted wares, it's been dying a slow death. The site's interface doesn't look like it's changed much since its inception. The only thing that has changed is how many people actually use it. I spent some time browsing through Craigslist whilst researching for this video. It felt like a barren wasteland full of weirdos. I stumbled across an ad for a free cat, his name Jeff. They're giving him away because he won't stop jumping out of windows. Someone else was selling what they describe as chocolate art. Definitely going to have to censor this one. Unwanted meat was also up for grabs. Anyway, the malware campaign. It was uncovered by email security company Inky and took advantage of the way Craigslist handles user messages. Craigslist allows users to send emails to each other anonymously. To get in touch with another user, you have to email a randomly generated email address and they have a similar looking email to contact you. Craigslist uses an email relay system which acts as a conduit, forwarding the emails to the true addresses. A bad actor harnessed the system to send hyper-realistic phishing emails to people who had posted Craigslist ads. The emails claimed that the victim's ad had been flagged for inappropriate content and that a form would need to be filled out within 24 hours, otherwise their account would be terminated. The great thing, or not so great thing, about these emails is that they come from a legitimate Craigslist email address, so they are inherently believable. And despite the email looking rather simple and not having some kind of fancy backgrounds like typical notification emails from companies usually have, Craigslist is known for their minimalist design, and so a basic looking email kind of fits in with their brand. Inky explains, it appears as if bad actors were able to manipulate the email's HTML to create that button and link it to OneDrive. However, this is where the mask slips, revealing the email's true intentions. Tapping the button takes you to a OneDrive link, prompting you to download a zip file containing, and no surprises here, an Excel document known to be malicious. I feel like half the hacks I talk about here on this channel feature an infected spreadsheet using malicious macros, so I'm not going to bore you with a detailed explanation on them. For that, see my other video I'll link below. Though what I will say is that this document is fairly well put together. Opening the spreadsheet gives you this page, telling you the doc is protected by DocuSign Protect Service, when in reality DocuSign has no such service. The English here is more than passable, and their cover story of why you need to even enable macros is rather convincing. Well, to a layman. Of course, running the macro will execute embedded malicious code. Inky tested the spreadsheet in a malware sandbox, confirming the malicious intent of the doc, if there was any doubt. As Inky explains, the malware also attempted to make external connections to download more components or exfiltrate data, but these attempts received a 404 not found error. The error was likely due to a mistake on the part of the bad actors, or it's possible that the malicious content was discovered on those hosts and had already been taken down. Because of that 404, we don't know what the true intentions of this campaign were. Though it could have been an attempted ransomware attack, or a bank logon stealer, the whole campaign is rather clever and IMO quite well executed. And I would imagine the average Craigslist user is a little stuck in the past, a bit of a boomer when it comes to technology, so I wouldn't be surprised if this campaign had a relatively high success rate. I'm curious, when was the last time you used Craigslist, if ever? Am I just out of touch and is Craigslist in reality an oasis of opportunity? Let me know in the comments. Also, satonic.com is now a thing. I'm uploading all of my videos there along with a short written article. There's also a link to watch my content on the alternative video platform library. You can also read about what I get up to when I'm not making YouTube videos. For instance, the pen testing tools I sell through my company Maltronics. If you enjoy this kind of video, make sure to help me out by caressing the like button for the YouTube AI, as well as turning on the sub notifications. If you want to see what goes on behind the scenes, make sure to follow me on the Instagrams. I'm at Jonty. I will, of course, link it in the description. And if you're looking for something to watch next, go check out my previous video on how bad actors have been exploiting Squid Game to infect victims. As always, sources will be linked in the video description. Stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.